Okay, so moving on, right? Let's discuss, right, on how you can actually profit from stock trading, right? There are two ways to do it. Number one, buy low and sell high. This is something that you probably have heard many times, okay? So just a quick example, right? This is the chart of Apple. Let's say, you know, you buy low and sell high. How it will look like is, let's say you buy around here at $155 and you sell, and let's say at this highs over here, which is about $175. So the difference between your selling price and your buy price is $20. So you made a profit of $20 per share on Apple. Okay, so that's a profit of $20 per share on Apple. So this means is that, you know, if you buy 100 shares on Apple, your profit would then be $2,000. Just 20 multiplied by 100, your profit is $2,000, right? So we are talking from a individual share, one share basis, right? But if you are, you know, trading 500 shares or 1,000 shares, right, you just multiply the number of shares accordingly and you'll know what is your total profit. Okay, so this is just one example. Another way that you can profit, right, from stock trading is this. You buy high and sell higher. So this is a concept that is hardly talked about. Everybody talks about, you know, buying low, selling high, but this, right, is an even more important concept if you ask me, you buy high and sell higher. Okay, it's not a more important concept, but it's a, it's a concept that, you know, many traders just, you know, are unaware of it. So for this over here, right, what you're trying to do is that you want to buy high. Okay, so let's say, for example, over here, Apple, we have a breakout over here at this high. So let's say you buy at about 100 and let's make things simple. You buy at $185. And let's say true enough, right, Apple right, did break out and it staged a strong rally and it moved all the way up to, let's say, Again, just to make it simple, right? $200 over here, okay? So you buy at 185 and you sell at 200 Again, what is the profit? Just take your selling price minus your buying price and it's a profit of $15. So if you buy 1,000 shares, that's a pro profit of $15 multiplied by 1,000, which is $15,000. But this time around, right, you notice that the difference is that you are actually buying high, right? If you see this over here, from the looks of this chart, you might see that, man, you're buying at such a high price, right? The market is about to reverse. Okay, why are you buying such a high price? But here's the thing about the markets, right? You never know how high a stock can go. So that's why you, there's another way to profit, which is to, you know, buy high and sell higher. Because the market, right, could just as well, you know, break out and move, right, even further than your expectations or anyone else. So I know, right, sometimes it seems scary to be buying high. But hey, you never know, right? The stock could actually explode higher and become higher. So uh, don't worry about, you know, the precise entries, techniques, or when to sell. We'll cover all that later later in the course. But for now, I just want you to understand, right, the concepts, right, behind, you know, profiting in the stock market. You can buy low, sell high, or buy high and sell higher. Moving on, right, how do you actually calculate your stock trading returns, right? So there are three ways to do it. Number one, we call it the dollar uh, approach, right? So this is something that I've briefly covered earlier. So what you'll do is just to calculate the difference, right, between your selling price and buying price. And the difference is the profit, right, you've made in dollars. So again, let's say you buy at $150. You sell at $200. Okay, so your profit on a stock is $50 per share. So if you buy 1,000 shares, that profit is $50,000. Just the profit per share multiplied by the number of shares you've bought. Okay, so that is your dollar return. Next, percentage return, right? So this one is uh, a little bit different, but again, really simple stuff. So for example, let's say you buy Apple shares at $100. Okay, and you, let's say you sell it at $150. So what is your percentage return? Just calculate your profit divided by your initial share price that you bought. So in this case, you can see that the profit is $50 per share. So just take $50, divide by the initial price of Apple shares that you bought, which is 100, and you get a profit of 50%. Simple, okay? And the last one, right, is what I call the R multiple, right? And this is actually my favorite approach to calculate your returns, whether you're trading Forex, options, or whatever, right? This is a more objective measure. Why is that? Because when you look at a dollar and percentage returns, it does not take into consideration your risk per trade. Okay, let me let me say that once again, right? When you calculate returns based on dollar or percentage, it does not calculate or determine, right, the amount of risk that you're taking to achieve those returns. So, I'll explain. So, let's say you buy Apple shares at $100, okay? 
Okay, and let's say you sell it at uh, $150. And let's say for this particular trade of Apple, right, you're either going big or going home. You tell yourself that, you know, if Apple drops to, you know, $0, I'll still hold it. So you can see that your entire risk on this trade is a full $100. And your profit on this trade is $50. Okay, this is your full risk and this is your reward. So from a risk to reward standpoint, from a risk, right, let's call it from a risk to reward. You can see that you're actually risking, okay, a dollar to make 50 cents, right? How do you get that? Just very simple. You just divide this by 100, divide this by 100, and you realize that for that particular trade, you're risking $1 to make 50 cents. Okay, so this from a risk to reward standpoint is, uh, well, not too attractive if you ask me. Compare this now to another trader. Let's say, you know, this person, this trader, now he, he in fact, he makes less, right? Let's say, again, he buy Apple shares at $100. And this time around, right, he sell Apple at, let's say, only $110. But the difference between this trader now is that instead of risking that full $100 compared to trader A, now this trader B, okay, he has a stop loss. He has a predetermined price, right, where he'll get out of the Apple trade if things goes sour. Let's say that that stop loss, right, that exit price in his mind is $95. Okay. So now, from the looks of, theme, of things, right, ask yourself, what is this person risk per trade? Let's do this together. Okay, this person B, his risk per trade is, uh, let's see, uh, let's call it, the risk per trade is $5. Right, $100, the initial buying price minus $95, which is the price that he'll get out if he's wrong. The difference is $5. What is his reward? Well, reward is very simple, right? The profit, right? The ending price that he sold minus his buying price, which is $10. So the reward is $10. So now, when you calculate it, right, from our multiple, his risk to reward, you can see that he's risking $5 to make $10, right? And if you just keep things simple, right, you realize that it's actually he's actually risking a dollar to make $2. Compare that to the earlier trader who actually made more, who made $50 per share, right? But you look at it from a risk to reward standpoint, a person only made, uh, for every dollar he risked, he made 50 cents. Whereas for trader B, he risked a dollar to make $2. So which is a better trader? Which is a better trade? If you ask me from a risk to reward standpoint, from an R multiple standpoint, trader B did a better trade. So you can look at it from two ways, right? Risking a dollar to make two dollars, or you can just call it a multiple of two R. When you talk about two R, you know that the person has risked a dollar to make two dollars. If someone made a profit of 10 R, this means that he risked a dollar to make ten dollars. Okay, so these are the three different ways to calculate your stock returns. I find that uh, the R multiple is the most objective measure to calculate your stock returns. So let's do a quick recap. Number one, how to profit from stocks. You can either buy low or sell high or even do both. And number two, we talk about how to actually calculate your stock returns, right? Either through a dollar-based approach, a percentage approach, or the R multiple approach. And my favorite is the R multiple approach because it tells you, right, how much risk you're taking to achieve those uh, returns. All right?